Hi, I'm Tony Turner, the Homeless Program Coordinator for Arlington County, and I think it's really great that you kids want to know more about homelessness in Arlington because it's an issue that impacts us as a community, and the quicker you or the earlier you learn about it, hey, the more you can actually help out. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask a few questions, kind of like a quiz. I'm pretty sure you guys have had that before. So, check this out. Here's the first question. This is an easy one. Are there homeless people in Arlington County? If you said yes, you're absolutely correct. Here in Arlington County, we can have as many as 451 people homeless at any given time. That includes people who live on the street, people who live in the emergency shelter. And we have this awesome program called Transitional Housing, a way to transition from the street into your own permanent housing. Now, I got an interesting question for you guys. What does a homeless person look like? Now guys, this is a trick question. A homeless person can look like anybody. It can look like me. I could be in a suit and tie, but I could still be homeless. It could be a soldier who's returning from the war, but nobody knows that he's living on the street right now. It could be a family. In fact, it could be the kid sitting next to you. But the key is, this is a sensitive issue and we gotta figure out ways that we can all pitch in to help. Here's a really good question. What do you think are some of the reasons why people become homeless? Here we go. There are a lot of reasons why people become homeless. For example, some people are underemployed, some people have no employment, and basically they don't have any uh, employment or any job to actually pay their bills, so that results in them living on the street. Other situations include somebody may have a problem or let's say a history of using you know, substances such as drugs and alcohol, which you know impairs their ability to actually care for themselves and really take care of their day-to-day -day living. In other cases, um, you know, it could be a mom who's just underemployed and doesn't have enough money to actually make ends meet. You know, but there are a lot of reasons. And the key part is, regardless of the reasons, it's our responsibility as me as a DHS employee and you guys as kids who live in Arlington County to try to figure out a way that we can actually help. Now, here's a question for you. What's being done about homelessness in Arlington County? Don't worry about this one. I'm gonna give you the answer. No need to pause here. So here's what the key is. Arlington County developed a 10-year plan to end homelessness like many other counties and jurisdictions around the country have done, okay? And basically that 10-year plan is designed to figure out a way of how we want to deliver services to those persons who are homeless. But even more importantly, what we want to do is what we call close the front door. How do we prevent people from becoming homeless? So what we want to do here is, by all means necessary, prevent people from becoming homeless when we can, okay? And then on the back end of that, which is those who are homeless, how do we quickly get them into housing with the right types of services to support them? Here's the question. What can families do or what can you do to help a person or a family who might be homeless? That's a great question. It's everybody's responsibility in Arlington County to help end homelessness in Arlington, okay? Now, what are some things that you can do? We have five shelters here in Arlington County. We have two that are for single individuals and we actually have three that are for families. You can talk to your mom and your dad about volunteering at one of these shelters. You can actually maybe help a child tutor, you know, in terms of helping them with their math. Uh, other things that your family can do is you can actually donate some money to uh, a, a worthy cause such as one of the shelter programs or a transitional housing program. But no matter what you do, the key is get involved, be a part of the solution, and help Arlington County end homelessness as we know it.